Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at using Recover, a program that can remove accidentally deleted files. It has a couple different ways to do this. In this situation here, I've installed the program. I drag some pictures over, delete them, remove them from the recycle bin so that they're now gone. So there's a few ways we can get them back now if you're in this situation. Um, I'd have to say Recover is probably one of the best choices out there in, in free programs to do this. It starts out with a wizard, as you can see here on the screen, but it also allows you to install to the context menu, meaning you could take your Windows Explorer, for example, go into your pictures where I know it was deleted from, and do the scan for deleted. You can also go to the Recycle Bin, right-click on that, and you can also scan for deleted files with that. It's pretty fast, and there's all the pictures I deleted as far as I know. I'm not going to recover them quite yet. I just want to show you the wizard. You can uncheck this so that you can always simply use the context menu anytime you want or do it manually. But the wizard's a handy way to do it. You have to remember that in this case, it's going to be longer to scan depending on how you do it. If you know you just need to find music or some documents, and it'd probably be a lot faster for you to just simply do that. So we'll say pictures because we know that's what our problem is. And it wants to know where they were. We knew it was in the recycle bin. If you know, then you can, once again, speed up the search by selecting the right thing. There's your deep scan, which we're not going to use because it's time consuming. And in this case, since the files were recently deleted, they should be easy to recover. Now, if you lost files, let's say, oh, I don't know, a week, a month, the longer time goes on, the harder pictures are to recover because they get overwritten on the drive. Once these pictures, music, videos, whatever it is you lost gets overwritten over and over again, eventually it will be unrecoverable. Hence, these programs won't do you any good. So let's do a quick start, see how fast she goes. That is literally all the pictures that I had deleted so let's take a look here. You have your advanced mode if you need to use it, which brings us back to what you saw when I used the context menu here. So we're going to select them all, and we're going to try and recover them. And we're going to try and say into pictures. Well, maybe not. My pictures? There we go. Not recommended, obviously, but we're just doing this for tests. So I did delete seven. Well, let's take a look now at what we have. And as you can see, as promised, now I've got most of my pictures back. However, that didn't recover. That didn't recover. Once again, it's not a perfect science. There's no guarantee you're going to get all your pictures, but you'd be hard-pressed to find a better tool to do this for completely free. And keep in mind, longer it's there, longer it's gone. So having recover on your drive somewhere at all times in case you accidentally delete something you want to pull it and try and get those files back immediately if you accidentally delete something that is outside the recycle bin of course so there you go the program is completely free it's brought to you by the same people that make C Cleaner. it's really an excellent program I think it as far as needing to delete files this is probably the one you'd want to use we do have a few other maybe we'll take a look at those soon when we get some time and uh, that's about it so we thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.